Emily walked briskly through the dense forest, her flashlight slicing through the encroaching darkness. The call had come in just past midnight, summoning her to the southern edge of the island in Fontaine, to an old mansion that had stood abandoned for decades. Rumors of disappearance swirled around the mansion, but Emily dismissed them as an island folklore until now. She arrived at the mansion, its looming structure half hidden by her overgrown vines, her gloved hand reached for the ornate, rusted doorknob, but she hesitated. Something was off. The air was thick with an unnatural silence and suffocating stillness that sent shivers down her spine. Taking a deep breath, she pushed the door open. The interior was a tapestry of decay and neglect. Cobwebs drapped the corners and dust danced in the beam of her flashlight. Emily's eyes scanned the grand foyer and she noticed footprints leading deeper into the mansion. Chevreuse footprints. She had been here, but where was she now? Chevreuse! Emily voice echoed, swallowed by the yast emptiness. No answer. She steeled herself, knowing her best friend wouldn't vanish without a trace. And as a forensic cleaner, Emily was used to death's aftermath, but the eerie quiet nerved her. She moved further inside, her eyes adjusting to the dim light. The scent of decay mingled with the something familiar and undercurrent of something sweet and floral. Emily frowned, recognizing it immediately. Her own creation, a perfume she had designed to mask the scent of death doing her work. It was her signature, her secret profession's mark. Following the scent, Emily descended into the basement. The air grew colder and the smell of her perfume became stronger. Suddenly, her flashlight flickered and went out, plunging her into darkness. Panic surged, but she fought it back, relying on her other senses. Emily! Emily! The whisper was faint, barely more than a breath. Emily's heart raced as she strained to hear. Chevreuse, she called out, her voice trembling. A low, guttural growl responded, sending chills down her spine. The darkness seemed so close in, pressing against her. She fumbled for her spare flashlight and flicked it on, revealing a sense of horror. Chevreuse laid on the cold stone floor, her eyes wide open in terror her body motionless. A dark, shadowy figure loomed over her, its eyes glowing a violent red. Emily froze, paralyzed by fear, as the creature turned its gaze towards her. It hissed, its voice a haunting blend of a thousand whispers. Emily's mind raced. She was not just facing a criminal, but something far more sinister. Her instincts screamed to run, but she couldn't leave Chevreuse. She stepped forward, her voice shaking. Wh who are you? What do you want? The creature laughed. <laughs> a sound that echoed off the walls like nays on a chalkboard. You think you know death, you little performer? You know nothing. In a blur of motion, the creature lunged at her and Emily swung her flashlight, the beam scattering its form into a mist that quickly reformed. She darted to Chevreuse's side, her hand on her friend's wrist, a pulse. Faint, but there. Chevreuse! Chevreuse, wake up! Emily shook her friend, desperation in her voice. Chevreuse's eyelid fluttered and she groaned. The creature snarled, recalling from the awakening woman. She is mine, it roared. Emily stood her ground, her mind racing. She pulled a vial from a pocket, her latest creation, an experimental perfume designed to neutralize chemical compounds. She had never tested it on anything supernatural, but it was their only hope. She uncorked the vial and flung its contents at the creature. It screeched, its form dissolving into a cloud of black smoke before disappearing into oblivion. Emily helped Chevreuse to her feet, both of them shaken but alive. We need to get out of here, Chevreuse whispered, her voice weak but determined. As they stumbled towards the exit, the mansion seemed to breathe a sigh of relief. The oppressive darkness lifted, replaced by the pale light of dawn. They emerged into the fresh air, 
both women gasping with relief. But as they reached the safety of the forest, Emily turned to Chevrous. What happened in there? What was that thing? Chevrous shook her head, her eyes haunted. I don't know, but it was after something or someone. Emily nodded, the realization sinking in. They had unraveled the criminal secrets within this mansion, but in doing so, they had awakened something far worse. And as they left the island behind, Emily couldn't shake the feeling that they hadn't seen the last of the creature. Because in the end, only one woman came out alive. But which one? Emily's reflection in the rearview mirror smiled her eyes glowing a faint, a disturbing red. The mansion had claimed yet another soul.